All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're figure eight racing. We're getting ready to go. And I'm gonna be announcing to the live PA during this main event. This could be, this will be really goofy. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. What is up, folks? I'm here in the double zero machine. You guys ready for this? So we're getting ready to go. This is just a goof off race for me. Should be fun. We go green, 20 laps of figure eight racing. Side by side through turns number one and two. How many laps until we start crisscrossing? Good. Next time, bye. Jeffrey is looking to be one of the slow pokes. Can he be the first one to initiate the crosshairs? Mayhan with the number 12 pulls off the track. Something an issue for the 12 machine. <laughs> and we're going to try to see if Jeffrey's got any audio from that wireless microphone, if we can hear him as he crosses the line now. All right, guys, I'm here in the double zero machine. I'm coming around the turn right now. Here come the leaders, I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna push it, oh boy! Made it through, how do you like that? I'm chasing down this three machine, but there's a great battle for the lead. I'm gonna let the leaders go this time. Gotta time it right, woo -wee -hee. There we go. Like Jeffrey said, you gotta time it right in these figure eight races. It's all about the timing. You're spending half of your lap looking across at that intersection to completely plan it. He's gonna have to hit the brakes and not be able to. He had no power for that intersection. Playing it smart. As these slower cars make their way through the intersection, Jeffrey. Now, Tommy, I gotta be careful. Because as I have the leaders starting to come up behind me, I need to know where everyone is. If you hit the brakes, someone's going to rear end somebody. So you don't want to get rear-ended in this race. I'm going on the outside of the 77 machine right now, one-handing it. Oh boy, my guard sideways. Here's the leaders. I'm going to stick with them here. I'm following Robert Rice into turn one. Jeffrey's following the second place driver, Robert Rice, who is right now trailing the number 25 of Steven Belling, who's had this race lead from the start. Crissing through the intersection, Altman. Kind of looked like he tapped the brakes a little bit. Robert Rice to the inside for the lead. All right, lap number eight's on the board. We're halfway through. I'm getting lapped by a couple more cars, the 77. I'm hoping he doesn't push it. He doesn't. It's all about keeping your eye way ahead of your mark. If you can see where the leaders are at or see who's coming up on your intersection, you have a chance to make it through. See right there. Here come your leaders on me again. Oh boy. figure eight racing folks halfway through I'm gonna try and find a way through this pack I see an opening I gotta take it Woo! that was close that was fun but if you can anticipate where the other cars are it's uh it's doable I'm gonna let these guys go and 12 machine you're mad Tommy, 
I think I blew something up. Something didn't sound good there, Trevor. He's pulling off the track into the pit, so unfortunately a DNF, something broke. I blew up a tire. <laughs> White flag, one lap to go for the 25. Steve Belling has literally two more corners he gets through and an intersection. Bumper tack, Robert Wright hard on the bumper. That opens up the inside groove. Belling cuts it short across the line. Steven Belling in the number 25 leads this one flag to flag. A fantastic peak rate race and a great way to close out the night. We had Irwindale events in it, and if you like what you saw on this big great race, come back next Saturday night. We'll be doing it again, Night of Destruction, next Saturday night. Thank you all for coming out here tonight. It's strange because it it's not driving like I have a flat tire, but something just exploded. So Jeffrey now, he, he was working that microphone so well, he blew up something. We all heard that noise coming out of that double zero machine. But an awesome job by Jeffrey to one hand the steering wheel and one hand the microphone in that figure eight race. I'm not quite sure what it was. Well, that was a figure eight race. That was a small preview for the uh, Night of Destruction that we have coming up next week. So uh, this car drives great. Um, how is it? Is it hot? I can't tell. Not running hot at all. Did good. Oh well, I, I wasn't too worried about winning in that event, but uh, hopefully we gave some people some laughs there. And that's uh, that's a wrap from tonight. Rainbow Dash 3.0 did great. I don't know what's wrong with the uh, right front. I'll take a look at it here, but uh, we'll obviously talk about it in the next. The uh, <laughs> the next build. We'll be here the day before Night of Destruction to get everything ready. That's a wrap. Who doggy? Jeffrey just texted me from the pit area. The tire completely ripped apart, so that car is good to go for the next event next Saturday night, Night of Destruction. Your winner, Stephen Belling, climbing out of his car. He can hear you now. Make some noise. Flag to flag. Green to checkers. Your winner. He led this one from pillar to post. <laughs>